What is going on everyone? Welcome again to another video here on the Fox Tech YouTube channel. This time we talk about the Apple Music on your iPhone as well as the Apple Music on your Mac. How can you link those two together? So there are multiple different approaches and you at first need to make sure that the Apple ID being used is actually the same on both devices. So if I go ahead and open up the settings on my iPhone and in the upper right section, you can see the section for Apple ID and you can hear, um, I mean, you can actually see the, uh, the email address being used. So you need to make sure that the same stuff is being added on the Mac as well. Now, the next step, the next thing we need to do is to open up the music app on your Mac. And as you can see, you have all the stuff in here. For me, it is synced properly. But if you don't have it this way, what you need to do is to go ahead and click on the left section right there next to the Apple logo. There is the music, about music and the settings. So I'm gonna click on settings and it moves me over to this little window. Now there are also another sections within that. So general playback, files and advanced. So in the general section, the first one is sync library and I have it turned on. This is what you should have turned on as well. And in the brackets is the email address for the Apple ID. Now this has to be the same one, as I mentioned in the beginning, the same one, which is also present on your iPhone right here. So you need to make sure that it is the same one. So this way it can actually be synced together. So this is very useful and this is what you should have turned on. Now, there are some different things as well, because uh, syncing the music may be taken or looked at it differently. For example, if you go, go ahead and connect your iPhone uh, like this, so you go ahead and open up the Finder and your iPhone is connected through a cable. You can see that I'm paired with the cable and connected to the very same computer. On a PC computer, you will be required to download iTunes for it, but on the Mac, you can do it within the Finder. And as you can see in the locations, I can find my iPhone. So this is the iPhone 11 Pro Max, all the stuff that I wanted to know. But if I scroll down all the way to the bottom, you, you will be able to find the sync button. And the syncing allows me to sync the music library as well. So with the click of a button, I can sync all the songs, which I perhaps added. It can be also containing some MP3 recordings of my voice, Whatever it is, I can sync everything in terms of the music within uh, these uh, two devices. So iPhone and the Mac are going to end up with the same stuff on it. So that's another set of options as well. This is what you can do in order to sync it. You just have to pair and connect the device and that's how you can go about that. Okay, so I need to show you one more thing right here. So this is the thing I've been working on. It is the Fox Tech educational platform. It's a platform where you can join it for free. The link is down below and you can join other people that are also learning about their devices. In the classroom section, there's a free video editing course as well as all apps explained course, meaning that you're gonna be able to find some full guides for all of the apps, constantly adding more to the list. So definitely go ahead and check it out. It's gonna be linked down below in the description and just make sure you're not gonna miss out on all the things that you can know about your about your device. So I'm gonna wrap up this video right now. Hope you found it useful. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up under it and subscribe to the Fox Tech as well. Thank you very much for watching.